Hey guys, this is Thomas. Welcome to your very first piano lesson. This lesson is for you if you never sit on a piano before. We start from scratch, we start from the very beginning with all the important details and I also have a very cool song for you. Not only a boring song but also a good sounding song for you. But of course it's also a very easy song for beginners and I have much much more easy songs on my channel so check that out on my channel. A very easy songs, popular songs, songs you really love, made for beginners very easy and very detailed explained with, with all the information. It doesn't matter how old are you, maybe you're searching for a new hobby, maybe you uh, would like to train your brain, or maybe you just want to have fun, maybe you have a piano or a keyboard and try something out. And also it doesn't matter if you have a keyboard or a piano player from the beginning. This is what I'm going to show you in this video. I'm so glad to see you here and now have a look at the keys. So we start from the very, very beginning of the piano, but first of all, let me show you which song you will learn at the end of this video. Yeah, this is the song, it's wonderful. Usually this is no song for absolute beginner, but the way I'm going to show you later, you will make it definitely, I'm very sure. I have many, many piano students and they all made it that way. Okay, but let's start with the easy stuff. Have a look at the fingers, because we give the fingers some numbers. And we start with the thumb, the thumb is number one, pointer number two, middle finger number three, four, and the pinky is the five. Okay, it doesn't matter which hand. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, as easy as this. You just need the numbers because we don't only say thumb point. Yeah, the numbers are just shorter, in especially on sheet music. We can just write the numbers above the notes, and so we don't have to write thumb, pointer, pinky. Yeah, all this stuff. This is the reason why we have the numbers. But um, what is crazy if you play a scale like this? In the left hand, we start with a five. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and the right hand, of course, we start with the 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, okay? So, just to let you know, this is the first basic stuff. Um, okay, but now have a look at the keys, because there are many, many keys on my piano, and these are 88 keys, and if you have a grand piano, an acoustic piano, probably you have also 88 keys on your piano. Maybe you just have a keyboard, then it's 47 keys, or 61, or 72. Yeah, there is um, there are um, different versions of this. But if you have an 88 key piano, the lowest note is an A. It's the same like the alphabet. Um, we can play A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And the good news is after the A, uh, after the G, we start again from the A. So A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yeah, we just have seven different notes. Yeah, in addition the black keys, but these are just, yeah, well, we can say side notes. Okay, I will get to it in just a second. So it's the same like the alphabet. One, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And we are lucky here because I'm speaking English. Usually I'm from Germany and in Germany the B, for what reason ever, nobody knows. This is not a B, this is an H. <laughs> so in Germany we have to say A, H, uh, C, D, E, F, G. <laughs> so funny, nobody knows why. I'm glad to, to talk in English today. Okay, so what if you don't have 88 keys on your keyboard, on your piano? Um, well, the good news is we have the black keys. And the black keys are very important because, yeah, for, for the orientation. As you can see, we have also a, um, always a couple of two black keys, then three, two, three, two, three, and so on. It's all over the piano. Um, yeah, so have a look at the three black keys. It, it really doesn't matter where on the piano. Just take the three black keys. Choose the middle one and then go to the white key on the right. 
this is the A. And not only this one, also this one, right? Three big keys, the middle, just go to the right, the white key is the A. Here the same, the middle one, here as well, here as well. <laughs> Unfortunately, he is just one black key, but it's the start, it's the top of the three black keys because here we have two. So this is the top of the three black keys. And also you can go from the right one to the left. Yeah, imagine this is the top from three black keys, go to the left, this is the A. Okay, so now you can find all the keys, right? Try this out. Three black keys, the middle, go to the right. And then we have A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Yeah, congratulations. Maybe you, now you think, oh my God, but I don't know how to remember. The good news is the beginning seems to be very, very hard. And it is very hard, but only on the short run. If you practice, um, you will make progress faster than you think. So you will orientate on the piano, find all the keys and the notes on the piano very, very fast. If you practice the next days, the next weeks, you will notice great progress. I promise then you can see, ah, A, 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 ah, G, 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 C, C, E, G, F, G, B, E, F, G, G, E, A, C, D, like this. This will be faster than you maybe think now. And also, I have some great lessons for you in the description box. Check the link, you get to my website and I have a um, free video series, which, um, yeah, for you, for not only for today, for the next days, for the next weeks, and even for the next month, if you want. And this is where we do all the training stuff, yeah, so that you that it gets faster and faster, that you can find all the keys on the piano very fast, yeah, so that you can get all the exercises you need on your practice routine, yeah? It doesn't matter if you practice daily, this would be perfect, of course, but of course, if you just have two to three hours per week, this is a great start. And yeah, and I'm pretty sure you will be very, very happy with these lessons. And yeah, just check the link in the description box, you get to my website and the first name and email address, and I sent you um, yeah, the right lessons and the right amount right to your email inbox. I really appreciate that many of my subscribers are already there and I'm looking forward to see you there as well. Okay, let's go on with the names of the black keys because they have names as well, of course. But what's very easy, you take the name of a white note, of a white key, and you can make it sharp or you can make it flat. For example, when we have the A, we can say the A sharp, and this is the next key on the right. In this case, is it's this. This is the A sharp. But, very important, place your hand, uh, hand not here, but here. Because we can, all, we can only really see what the next key is when we are here. Because it's when I go to the right now, it's a black key. When I go to the right now, it's a white key. When I go to the right now, it's also a white key. And here a black, a white, a black, white, white, black, white, black, white, black, white, white, black. Yeah, always. This is the reason. If you if you want to think about sharp and flat, we really have to go into the keyboard. Yeah. For example, if I go here to the left and the right, I just have white, 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 right, right, right. So it's very important to go here. And when we say A sharp, it's this. This is the A, right? When we say A flat, it's this. Okay, let's go to the next white note. This is a G. When I say G sharp, it's this one. When I say G flat, it's this one. Maybe you think now, hey, 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 what what about that this note? Does it have two names? And the answer is yes. This could be an A flat and this could be a G sharp. We will talk about that later. The reason why it is like this is a bit historical because many, many years ago, 
um, a G sharp and the A flat was not the same key, but that was not on a piano. It was an, another instrument which had has more notes like this, but they were very, very similar. And on the piano, where it's a historic thing, they decided to give this name both uh, to give this key both names. But later, when you're um, a bit intermediate, we um, talk about um, the reason. Because in one piece, in one song, usually this can just ha have um, uh, one name. Okay? But we will talk about this later. It's not for now. But for example, if someone asks you, hey, which one is the F sharp? Then you can have a look here. Three black keys go from the middle one to the right this is the a a b c d e f this is the f and sharp is to the right and this is the f sharp so you can find e um, now each note on the piano for example if someone asks you which one is the f flat this question probably you will never be asked because f flat there is an F flat and it's this one, it's really a white one, this is, can also be called F flat, but, but nearly no one says F flat to this. Yeah, but in theory this really can be an F flat. The much most common version, of course, this is an E. A, B, C, D, E. Okay, just to let you know, but the rule is you can go on every note, on every white note, have a look which one it is, A, B, C, D, and this is the D sharp, and this is the D flat. Okay, now you can find all the notes we have on the piano. Congratulations! Great stuff! Well, I can also talk a lot about the finger positioning and also how to sit on the piano, but also this is stuff um, you can find in, in, in my lessons in the description box. Um, because for now, I think it's okay. Um, just imagine you have an, an apple or something like this, no, an orange in your hand. Yeah, and place your fingers like this on the piano. Not, not too much like this, and also not like this, not spread. And also not like this and of course your hand shouldn't be like this and also not like this this should be very straight yeah um okay okay but but we need much more cameras to have a look at it exactly but of course i have some great um videos in detail explanation um yeah for the positioning okay great and what we are doing now is to place the hand on the piano here so this is the middle of my piano. This is the lowest note. Just to make sure that you sit on the middle, but we are placing the right hand here. So when we have two black keys, the white key on the left, this one, we place on the fifth finger, number five, the pinky. So place your hand like this, that each finger has a white key each side by side so if you try to play something like this five four three two one probably this is very hard for you now especially with the pinky and the ring finger because these are the weak fingers these two fingers are really really weak but for example the thumb is a very strong finger and for example playing something like this is really really hard at the beginning as well but here's the same for today it will be very hard but for the next days if you try practicing something like this if you try to play this in, of course, if you are playing the song we are playing um, in it just in a, a few minutes, you will notice a really great progress with your fingers, I promise. It doesn't matter how old are you, also I have students which are 80, 90, and also these students master it. Maybe it takes one day more, but what is one day for such a beautiful hobby? Okay, so... 
So the first exercise, <laughs> I start with the most difficult one, is five, four, five, four, five. So this is five, four, five, four, five. This is one time, the second time, and then just the five on the third time. One, two, three. I know this is really hard, but I really started with the hardest part of all. So what you should do now is to repeat this again and again. It doesn't matter how slow or how fast. You can also play it like this. One, two, three. This is fine because you will train your brain in this speed as well. And it's even better to play it slow and try to play it straight than like like this. Yeah, this is not straight. This is not nice. It should be really wham, bam, 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 bam. But it can be even much slower. It can be wham, bam. Bum, bum. Two, three, four. Bum, 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 bum. Take your time. Yeah, patience. Just in the first lesson is one of the most important things. But if you're patient, your progress will be much, much faster than you think. Okay, another important thing is maybe at the beginning you feel a pain right over there or also here. If you feel the pain, just take a rest, stand up from your, from your chair and relax your hand, relax your whole arm, go around through your room, yeah, relax it and try again. But don't do too much if your pain is much too strong, if it's really strong in here, stop practicing for today and go on the next day. This is totally fine and this is what most piano students at the beginning have. Also, if you just practice this for just a few minutes, you will train your brain. And even when you're sleeping at night, you will learn while you're sleeping. If you don't believe me, try to sleep one night and sit on the piano the next day. Of course, you have to start from scratch but you will notice that you will learn much faster than the day before. This is really great with learning how to play piano, with learning an instrument, because you really train your brain and you get new connections in your brain. And yeah, this is also the reason why a piano player are also very smart people. <laughs> okay, let's go on with the next practice part. After you repeat this, maybe 20, maybe 50, maybe 100 times. Yeah, it just takes a few minutes. It's totally fine to repeat this 100 or even 200 times. We ca can go on with the next practice part and this is... Two, five, one. Just to make sure that your hand is placed like this, we start with the G. The G is when we have three black notes, the one on the left. This is the G, there's the pointer, the second finger. So we play two, five, one. Okay, and here the same. Pause the video now. Repeat this one again and again. You can also try to play it faster if it works fine in a slow speed. But also repeat this again and again. Very straight. Bum 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 bum. Okay, but take your time. Okay, pause the video, repeat this again and again. When you did this, um, we can bring both practice parts together. So this is 
two, three, two, five, one. Okay, this is one, two, three, and then fingers two, five, one. Two, five, one is the number of the finger, but one, two, three is of course how often I play this, okay? Okay, great, and this is already the half of the song I um, you will learn today, because if you just listen now, This is the beginning of the right hand, right? Of course, we have the left hand, but this one is repeated. Ah, okay, with two notes. Just two notes before, and then re repeat this. Again, this is the same, right? And now, on the second half... These were the same notes, but in a slightly different rhythm. We will get to the rhythm in, in just a few minutes. Um, yeah, and then we have the end. But as you can see, you can play half of the song with the right hand. Great. <laughs> okay, so let's add the two notes. This is the first time that we have to place one finger on another key because now we have to place the thumb, the first finger, which is C on the F right now, one wide key lower to the E. So we play then thumb, one, the first finger, pointer where it is right there's one white key between it's just like this okay you can repeat this as well also when it seems very very easy or too easy for you I highly recommend to repeat this just a few times and pay attention that it really sounds nice and not like oh that one key is much, much, much louder than the other one. Like this, or... It should sound as nice as possible. Okay, and so we can add this and play the first melody again. Pause, then... Two, five, one. Pause. This is the next practice part for you. Two, five, one. This one is a bit longer. Then we take the thumb. We have all the time we need. Place it one wide key lower. Pay attention that this one stays on, on the G, not here, but here. Take your time, one lower. And also what, what would be very great if you take your time, if you leave this key, just try to move your thumb. As you can see, all the other fingers stay here. Leave it, one lower. But of course here the thumb is back on this one, right? It's just for the beginning here. Okay, and if you can also try to play it a bit faster,
Okay, great. And this is the whole intro of the song. So let's go on with the next part. Um, as I already mentioned, these are the same notes, but in a slightly different rhythm. Well, another rhythm is complicated. So, um, so let's listen to this. So this is wham bam 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 bam. So this is like long, short, long, short, long, short, long. Always long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long, short, long. Short long, short long. Sorry. Yeah, repeat this again and again as well. Of course, take your time. It can be even much slower. And it can be even slower than this as well. Okay, but it's all always long, short, long, short, long, short, long, long. Yeah, the last one is long as well. This is the longest one, the last one. Okay, great. This is another very important part. This is played two times. But not immediately because then we have the next practice part and this is so we have to position to reposition the whole hand and this time our hand position is like this right here and here and now we take the middle finger above the thumb so the thumb stays here and the middle finger goes above it to the next white note. The good news is that this thumb is very flexible like this. Yeah, it allows us to do a lot with our hand. This is the reason when we change the position of the hand, we try to do this with the thumb. Also, for example, if the middle finger plays something, we try to do reposition the the hand with the thumb as well. Okay? So this is great. For example, this can be played by the thumb. This as well. But the pinky can also play this and... Uh, yeah, this is nothing. That's it. <laughs> okay. Um, so. The next practice part for you is... This is the last note, right? From the last practice part. The next note is this one. So all you practice now is this. Thumb, middle finger, go back to the old position. Thumb, middle finger, go back to the old position. And, very important, here the thumb is on the key, but when you play the middle finger, the thumb goes up. And you can place the hand when when you can when you play the middle finger, yeah, you can place the hand like this as well, like it's here again, side by side. So like this. This is your next practice part. F, this is the note F. We go on above the thumb, play the middle finger on the next white key and place the hand like this as it is side by side. This is the old position, the new position. Again the old position and the new position. Just to remember the old position is the thumb when we have three black keys, the white on the left. 
here's the thumb each finger is side by side you hover go above the thumb with the middle finger play it and now we have all the time to position reposition the hand so that it's also side by side okay and this is your next practice part Okay, you can pause the video and repeat this now again and again, yeah, 20, 60, 70, 80, 150 times, it doesn't matter. Okay, the next practice part is 3, 4, 5, 3, 2. Again, 3, 4, 5, 3, 2. Okay, and also this, all notes very straight, without a special rhythm, and you can repeat this again and again as well. Take your time, you can start much slower, um, and try to play it as fast as this. If you can play it like this, this would be very great. Okay, you can pause the video, repeat this again and again. And then we can bring the last two practice parts together. With the hand repositioning, we start with the F, just here, this note. Again. Also, repeat this 20, 30 times. Pause the video, then we make the practice part even bigger. This is the last one, the uh, with the rhythm, right? Wham, bam, bam, short, long, short, long, long, and then this one. Again. Repeat this again and again now. Yeah. We are nearly done. Now we have the next practice part. This one. So. This is our hand position, right? Now we have the thumb, the first finger, the second one is just for a short time on this key below, but it goes back to the thumb and also the hand position goes back. So we have one, two, one, one, two, three, again, one, two, three, and also this rhythm, one, two, one, one, two, three, Okay, repeat this again and again and try it to get faster. And then the rhythm is bum bum bum, bum bum bum. L short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long, short, short, long, lo ro ro lo ro ro lo ro ro <laughs> okay, we don't need it so fast. Okay, you can pause the video, repeat this many, many times. And then we have the last practice part. This is three, four, five, four, three, two. 
maybe you think right now, oh my god, too many notes. But the the wonderful thing is when you repeat this again and again, you not only train your fingers, you also learn the notes if you really repeat this very, very often. But of course, we have to repeat this in, in bigger practice paths. So this is the next step. Yeah, but this is what we will do as well. So if you forgot some notes, it doesn't matter. Just go back to the practice part, repeat them again and again and again and again. And I will promise you, you will learn them in just a few minutes. So the last practice part again, this is three, four, five, four, three, two. This is the fast version, but take your time. And the rhythm is short, short, long, short, short, long. The same as before. So repeat this again and again. Even slower, pause the video, take your time, do this 30, 50, 60, 70, 80 times. It doesn't matter as, as much, um, the more often the better. Okay, then we can bring the last two practice parts together. This is... Yeah, a bit slower. So a bit faster. Okay, great. And this is the second half of the speed uh, of the piece. And this is all you need. Yeah. So probably you have to repeat now some practice parts. So let's do this. This the beginning is. Yeah, just repeat this, the whole intro, as I showed, as I played right now. Okay, the next thing what you can repeat is... And this one, I know this is a long one as well, but the, the other rhythm... Yeah, take your time, you can even do it uh, slow, of course. Okay, and then the last thing we already had. Okay, but please pause the video, stay in the practice parts, just divide the whole piece in two and just do this. And if you made the, um, the two half of the whole song, of course, you can try the whole piece. Let's do this. Then okay, great. So if you if you uh, need some time, take your time. This is totally fine, and this is totally fine, especially at the beginning. I promise it's worth it that you take your time right now because when you take your time now, you will notice much greater progress on in the next days, the next weeks also. Um, yeah, and you will make that everything goes much, much, much faster. Of course, check my my uh, my lessons, my beginner lessons in the description. Okay, but this is the song, and of course, when you play this again and again, you will make it much faster. smooth of course
and you can repeat this without the intro, just the rhythm um, part with the uh, rith rhythm. Okay, and when you can play it like this, but please not before, we can add the left hand. What you should know is bringing left hand and right hand together is one of the biggest challenges a beginner at the piano has. Each beginner has this problem because this is very, very complicated for your brain. If your brain has never done something like this, of course this is a great challenge. But your brain loves to learn um, things and it will implement some these things very, very soon. Um, yeah, if you be patient at the beginning, it's worth it. It takes just a few days, a few weeks. Of course, it depends on the piece. Yeah, this is yeah not the easiest one. But of course, they are much, much easier songs. And of course, also very advanced piano players. Also, um, I have to practice all the single hands and also bringing both hands together. Of course, it really depends on the piece. But of course, um, I also can spend hours and hours of practicing um, some some things and also um, especially playing right and left hand together with complicated pieces, with complicated rhythm and so on. This is totally fine. This is our daily work as a piano player, but it's great because you get smarter and smarter. <laughs> The good news is that the left hand just have four different notes. So we place the hand like this. It's exactly the same as the beginning of the right hand. The th this is the C. When we have two black keys, we go to the left. And this is the C. Here the pinky and here the thumb. This is exactly the same, okay? The hand position. So, here we play three... Five, <laughs> I know your pinky is very weak and doesn't want to play, but that's totally fine. We ha just need the time for the pinky. Th thumb, first finger, and at the end, four, ring finger. Again, three, five, one, four. Three again, five, one, four. Okay, this is your practice part for now, but especially here, you can do it much, much slower because we even don't need it as fast as I already played it. So take your time, have a look at the pinky. When the pinky plays, we leave the middle finger. The next one is the thumb, first finger. Pinky goes up, of course. Sometimes pinky goes up like this. This is totally fine as well. Try to put it down, yeah, but this is totally, totally um, normal at the beginning, yeah. Bring it down. After, after a few weeks, your pinky will learn to get down. Maybe it takes months, but this is not so, not so, um, not so bad at the beginning. Okay, and then the ring finger plays the G. Three, five, one, four, again. Repeat this again and again. Yeah, train your fingers, of course, train your brain. But especially this is a good training for your pinky, for your ring finger. Uh, yeah, but for all the fingers here. And then you can learn the notes as well. And when you're really safe in playing this, we can bring both hands together. So this is... Uh, sorry. So we start together, A and C. So this note and this note. This is the A, this is the C. So, and when we played it, the left hand stays and the right hand goes on. So we play, right, 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 and on the last pinky note in the right hand, we play in the left hand, 
the F. Again. So this is your practice part for now. Pause the video and repeat this again and again. Take your time together. Right, 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 together. And when you play together, please try to do it really together, not like this. Together is like this. Yeah, You can hear the hammer the beginning, the first sound on each piano note is a hard one. This is why we can hear this is not together. We can hear oh ah, this is really close together. Yeah, this is a challenge, a, a, a huge challenge at the piano. Okay, so this is your first practice part and the song this part is repeated and this is what you can do at the second practice part play the first pause then we have thumb and pointer and the same Okay, so then the next we have the r a part with the rhythm. This is a bit more complicated. We start together as well. But here we play right left. The C is a bit earlier, the right hand, than the left hand. Okay, this is a great challenge. So I slow down. Right, left. Right, right, right. Again. Okay. Take your time, pause the video and try this again and again now, many, many times. Okay, the next one is a bit easier. It's this. We play the thumb together with the middle finger on the right hand. Together, right, 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 together. Yeah, this is the same as the beginning, together, right, right, together. And also repeat this many, many times. Then we have the next part. We start with the right hand, the first two fast. On the long note in the right hand, we play the left hand. Then the next again, short, short, long, and on the long note, we play both together. Yeah, take your time, just this part. It's right, right, together, right, right, together. Okay, then we can go on. When you pause the video, repeat this many times. We can go on to the last practice part. And also this is right, right, together. Right, right, together. This is the part. The last one. And also here, let's bring the last two practice parts together. Doom, 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 doom. 
yeah but pause the video and do this yeah by yourself take your time this is the fastest version yeah okay <laughs> and that's it of course then um, let's have a look at the um, first two parts with the rhythm a bit slower together right 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 together yeah, only the first half is the complicated one. Right, left. Uh, sorry. Together. Right, left. Together, right, 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 together. Then. Okay, I played one more time all together for you. this not from the beginning but from the rhythm part yeah and that's it isn't this amazing for your first piano lesson Maybe, I don't know. It really depends, of course. If you made it, um, just just have a look at this video and do the whole lesson and and yeah, reach this point or maybe you take some, um, some days. Um, that's totally fine. You should know this is a lot to know what you already discovered on the piano. This is something, when I had piano lessons, I learned in the first two months what I put in in here in this single video yeah in my first lesson i just played this one i i even didn't learn the finger numbers i just i just said yeah i i think just with a thumb i should just play this yeah this was the second lesson or something like this yeah and, and one week later was the second lesson yeah so this is what i learned in the first two uh or, or well well this piece this is after one year I learned this when I had piano lessons. So I really hope that you enjoyed this lesson. And um, I have many, many more easy songs on my YouTube channel. Um, have a look at my channel. You can find all the things. And I write beginner and easy when it's easy. Um, yeah, you can try some lessons out there as well. And of course, get the free piano lessons from the description box. This is something you should really get because this is... Yeah, you get the right lesson from time to time. Not all at one step, but exactly a great amount to practice and especially to have fun on the piano because, of course, this is what it's all about. Yeah, so thank you very, very much for being part here of this lesson. Um, yeah, I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. And I really hope I could learn help you learning the piano and i'm looking forward to see you in another video in another lesson and of course on my website it's Verde musica and um yeah maybe we see in the first lesson over there in just a second especially the first lesson yeah is complete different from this lesson but it's a great approach and i've many many um students um you're all over the world and on many many of course from germany from my home country which are happy with these lessons. And I am happy when you are happy with this lesson as well. So again, thank you very much. And I'm looking forward to see you there.